Hello and welcome to the northwest of England. The venue for this match is Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Burnley versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, I'm excited about this one. Great atmosphere in here. Everybody looking forward to this game, especially me and you. Number two, Matthew well, never afraid of lashing in the long-range shot, Ruben Nevis, but so many other positive qualities. Lee, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, technically, he's brilliant all round. He really is, but the technique he uses for long, powerful shots is second to none. He tees it up, short back lift, off it goes, keeper normally stretching. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. A 4-4-2, but with the emphasis on attack. Yeah, very much so, Derek. The number 10 will supply the support for the strikers. Three very, very narrow midfield players will also get forward. A little bit worried about the full-backs exposed on that side. They need to be on their game when they don't have the ball. The initial 11 for Wolves. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack-minded with the three up front. The three in midfield supplying the width as well, but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre-backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Westwood. And they are on the move again. Taylor. Difficult to stop him. That's excellent defending following the cross. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. And the keeper grabs it. An example of how to press. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Unable to keep the ball. is staring him in the face he had to score and he does well here it is how do you like him in an open goal please no goalkeeper no defenders where were they all One nil then. It's a good looking ball in behind. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Now the attack fizzled out. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Westwood. Josh Brownhill. Westwood. Barnes. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. This is looking threatening. In search of the equaliser. He's driven in the corner. Competent goalkeeping. Yeah, right place at the right time. Foils the attacker. An awful lot of green space to run into. And a good-looking ball. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Chris Wood and plenty of room in the wide area options in the middle aware of the threat solving the problem well the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack promising looking ball Marcel Robbie Brady, Wood with it, Brownhill, well that is how to run at defenders, oh incredible save and he snuffed out any sign of danger, the noise is great, can the players react to that, can they equalise, and he's fired over the corner, and a goal, the equaliser, superb entertainment, Well, here's another look at it. It's a good delivery from the corner, and he gets up for the header, and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Even Steven won a piece on this match. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Good visualisation and execution. And a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end that is that for the first half here he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Lee well there's never a bad time to score a goal but just before half time can be crucial and he's got his team back in this game what can he produce in the second half Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Taylor. Chris Wood. Robbie Brady. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Cody Roman Saiz well not hard to read that pass good idea that particular move but not to be and taking it away and space to cross it And Chris Wood. Throw ins given. And with play stop, they will make the change now. To be replaced by number 19, Jay Rodriguez. Jay Rodriguez. Taylor. And the cross into the middle. 
the end product just wasn't there and 30 minutes left for play in this match Willie Bonny and teammates to play it to is this the moment? it's still alive in it goes at the second time of asking and the keeper feels hung out to dry Well, here's a replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better in, Derek. His players need help here. So there we have it. 2-1. Ben Mee, Ashley Westwood on the ball. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Well, as you can see, Wolves haven't had too much of the ball, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. They've got it now, what can they do? And in with a real chance, Moutinho, and there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now, they can breathe that bit more easily. Well, Derek, the keeper's not going to want to see the replay of this. Completely caught out at his near post. Shocker. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, they've been poor all day, Derek, and you sense there's going to be a rollicking in that dressing room after the game. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Number 28, Paolo Martino. Substitution for Burnley. Coming off the pitch. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Coming onto the pitch. What 16, can they do from here? Stevens. Will he play it in? Oh, good hands there from the keeper. Stevens. Ben Me. Brady now. Charlie Taylor, nice looking pass, fluency of movement, a chance to whip it in, corner conceded, it came off the defender. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Played into the centre of the box. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Brady. And Chris Wood. Lowton. Cleared away comprehensively. Lowton. Played towards the back post. And the keeper exuding confidence. Yeah, doing his job. Right position, right time. Well, not great from the keeper. Accurate ball in towards the near post. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And firing it into the area. Corner again.
And now the delivery. Breaking at pace. It's a good looking ball in behind. Getting forward. Can he do it? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Corner awarded. Over it comes. Well, punched away by the keeper. Well, there goes the final whistle, and a good day at the office for Wolves. Three points gathered, Lee. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game, and going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result, that was. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.